hello friends welcome to performance tuning part 2 here i have explained about how we can rewrite the queries uh, and, uh, by seeing the execution plan which and which which query is suitable for our needs so today i am coming with the uh, data types how fixed and variable length data types plays a major role in performance tuning here I am taking two ta creating two tables with same structure with same data size but data types are different okay I am creating a two one table with ID and description column which is ID is init value and description is character with 2000 size okay now I am going to create a uh, table with a name called small table the uh, description is varchar 2000 okay click execute okay so if i do refresh here yeah so i can drop here and i can recreate okay now i am going to insert the data 1 lakh data or 1 lakh records into large table by using while loop okay click copy and execute so it will take around 5 to 8 or 10 seconds so it is taking more time than expected yeah no problem i am again i am doing in inserting the data into small table with one lakh records by using loop so all these two tables are um, like heap tables only there is no cluster index or anything else okay simply i insert the data okay when i cl click refresh here see i'm having two tall now if i try to view the uh, total rows uh, just verify how much time it will take for the large table how much time it will take this for small table for the time and as well as the logical and as well as the scans okay so if i uh, if i select all these and click it i am enabling execution plan as well okay uh, execution is not, not required now okay so select all this click execute come to here if you see here table scan for large table it is taking seven scan logical reads around 33,399 uh, this much of logical reads are happening for smaller table scan is one and logical reads are 351 only but the record count is same right so so it is always better to choose the data types as per your needs and also you have to rethink about the data types what you are using so you just analyze okay and make sure that okay this much of data type is good for your environment so i will recommend before deploying anything go and trial and error so and see the consequences and apply the same to your test environment again see the consequences so according to that you come to one decision thank you